Ladies and gentlemen, One UI 5.0 with Android 13 is now out. Here we have a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra with One UI 5.0. Let's look at the top features. The first thing I want to talk about has to do with multitasking. So let me just grab an application. And when you go into the Recents tab right over here, okay, now what you can do is you can press and hold on any application and you can drag it anywhere you want on the screen to start multitasking. Now, if you bring it to the middle, it opens up as a pop-up, which is normal. But if you were to bring the same application to the top or bottom, it actually activates split-screen multitasking. So the app you drag to the bottom goes to the bottom, and then you can start another application. Let's just tap on Calendar. Easily multitask this way. So super easy to start multitasking, and the animations on the multitasking have greatly improved. Super smooth nice and fluid. Alrighty, let's move on. Another massive change is the customization and expression. So basically what you can do now is if you were to press and hold on the screen and if you go to wallpaper and style, you can modify your lock screen right from here. That's the lock screen, that's the home screen. So if I tap on this one, it brings up the lock screen customization area. You can see I can tap on the clock pick different clocks, as you can see, uh, even change the size of the clocks, if I so desire, as you can see, pick different colors, okay, pick a specific color, all the way at the end, we have a color wheel, pick any color that you want for the clock, let's just do black for this example, and then tap on done, and that modifies the lock screen, again, if I tap on this thing, you can also change the two shortcuts at the bottom, so here I have the calculator shortcut on the lock screen. I can tap on this and I can choose anything that I want. Animations for doing all this stuff have become super smooth as you can see. And then I can add a little signature at the bottom here. I can have a quote, my name, whatever to personalize your lock screen right here. Okay. Now if I go to the actual lock screen, I can do the same thing from here. I can press and hold and it allows me to put my pin number or my fingerprints and then I can edit the lock screen right from here. But one extra option you get here is you have the wallpapers option. So you can actually access your wallpapers to change the wallpaper on the fly as well. And you have new graphical wallpapers as you can see and you have some color wallpapers as you can see. Let's just pick this one as an example. Okay, and then tap on this one. Just grab this clock and change the color a little bit so you can have something like this, no problem. Okay, that's the new lock screen right there. And that's the quote at the bottom and the shortcuts, as you can see. Let's go in and continue looking at the changes. One more thing with customization, press and hold, go to wallpaper and style, tap on the color palette, and now you have access to even more colors to further customize the theme of your phone. Okay, so these color palettes apply throughout the system giving your phone a unique look. You can do the wallpaper colors where the colors are extracted from the wallpaper or you can do basic colors as you can see. Even have this split screen option. Fantastic. Let's choose this one, tap on apply. All right, and we're gonna go back out. One more thing I wanna quickly talk about is the brand new maintenance mode. If you go to your settings and if you go all the way down and if you go to battery and device care, at the bottom you are gonna see the maintenance mode. So basically, if you ever send your phone in for repair to Samsung or whoever, you can turn on the maintenance mode so they can still repair your phone, but they're not gonna have access to any one of your private data. Your photos, your videos, they're gonna be locked away using Samsung security. So turn the maintenance mode on when you send your phone in for repair or service. Now, another great feature, let me go to my contacts over here. And let's just grab a contact here. Here's an example contact. If you go inside that contact, and if you tap on edit, what you can do for every single contact that you have, you can go all the way down, choose a unique call background image when they call you. So if I click on this one, I can tap on background at the bottom. So I can put a photo of that person, or I can choose one of these video call backgrounds. For example, this one right here. That's just an example, okay? Or this one, as you can see. Or if I want, like I said, I can choose, I can click here, go to the gallery, 
and pick and put any photo here or even put a custom video call background and then you can just tap on it and it's going to allow you to select that set us up call background so when that person calls you that's the image you're going to see on the background when you get an incoming call fantastic another new feature that we have is if i go to my settings right on the top we have a brand new modes and routines option if you click on this you can see you have certain options here driving exercise relax work you can also add a mode but let me show you a quick example so let's say you're about to drive in your car what you do is you set up a driving mode okay first you have to set it up it says get ready for driving by opening maps and limiting disruptions from apps and notifications so you click on start this i'm just going to skip for now but this is where you choose the car you're connected to i'm going to skip it for now so options do not disturb can be enabled while you're driving okay you can also say calls and messages are not allowed but repeat callers are allowed or messages are allowed or not allowed while you're driving same with app notifications you want to allow them while you're driving and be distracted or not so you choose these things you tap on next and then you can choose a bunch of settings that you can apply when driving mode starts so media volume you can reduce it if you want so i can minimize the media media volume when i start to drive and then i click on done and my driving mode is now enabled and i can tap this to turn it on if you turn it on it's going to do everything you told it to do you can access the driving modes from the quick panel right here you can see i can press and hold go straight into the modes and you can just activate what you need so easy to set up easy to activate modes and routines now over here we simply have the bixby routines that you can set they just combine that whole stuff into this menu modes routines fantastic we also have brand new widgets we have stack widgets and smart suggestions widgets so press and hold tap on widgets and here's the smart suggestions you grab this guy press and hold drag and drop dump it on the screen and then resize it if you want but basically this is going to change dynamically based on your use so if the phone thinks you use the calculator app a lot it's just going to pop up right there so that's a great little widget so let me show you the next thing so press and hold go into widgets and then let's just pick a widget let's pick a clock widget here let's do a two by one i'm going to put it right here okay and basically what you can do is you can press and hold on these widgets and there's an option known as create a stack so you can create a stack of widgets tap on it let's just pick a bunch of widgets i'm going to pick pick this one add okay and then let's just say halloween over here now i have a stack widget i have the clock and i can swipe over to go to the halloween widget the calendar widget but you can keep adding stacks just like this one all righty so look at this once you create the stack you get this menu you tap on plus you go and you choose another widget let's just say google drive i'm going to tap on this guy right here tap on add okay now i can pick the account i want to use let's just pick this one here and now i have another stack widget so look at this one two three widgets in a stack and of course i can take this and move it anywhere i, I want so great little feature for further customization and usability and even productivity based on how you use and set the widgets now one great feature that has been added to the camera is the watermark option so when you go to your camera okay you go to your settings you have this option known as the watermark option you go inside you enable this and you can add a watermark to any photo so let me disable you can have the date and time and even a text so let me just remove date and time you see it came off and i can change this custom let's just say s22 ultra all righty look look at that s22 ultra so that's going to be on every photo that i take and i can align it to the middle now let me show you if i take a photo it's going to be a black photo in this instance because you know the phone is on the table now if i go into that photo you can see we have that little signature that little watermark at the bottom the way i want it in the middle it says s22 ultra but like i said it is customizable which is amazing right over here fantastic now we do have many more features i'm going to make a full video with complete details so stay tuned for that
But these are some of the top features for One UI 5.0. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.